Okay, so you already should have your Fuse character rigged and downloaded um, from the previous video. I'm going to show you how to get it to function as a third person using the third person controller uh, in your video game. So one of the first things you need to do is you can see this is a brand new scene. Um, the only thing that I put in right now is a, is a plane, and that's just so you can see the character on there. Um, here's what you're going to do. Make sure you have the standard assets. Okay, so an easy way to do that, um, if you have not already done that, is all you have to go up to is assets, import a package, and go to characters. And this is going to download a bunch of default uh, character controllers. So right now it's preparing package. Um, I just click everything in, but you can see there's a first person character in here as well. Um, and uh, if you go down, you see old rollerball, if you remember rollerball. Um, and then here's third person character. So we're just going to click import and over in our assets, we should see standard assets and character. This is going to give us the controller for that character that we just made and allow us to uh, move around our scene. Let it import. So here's standard assets. If I open it up, and I go to characters and I go to third person. Okay, the thing that you're going to use is the prefab. It's a prefab third person character. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go double click, not the AI. That's different, not AI third person, but actual third person. The second one here um, where my cursor is. And I'm just going to click and drag and drop it. And there's my third person controller game object. If you open it up, you can see that. Um, Ethan is the name of their guy. All we're going to do is essentially replace Ethan with our character. Okay, so I'm going to close that up. In assets, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this my character. Okay, and this is where I'm going to import that one that I uh, exported out from Mixamo. So here I'm going to go assets, import a new asset. Okay, and it should be in my downloads, and I'm looking for that guy FBX. So here it is, guy.fbx. Click on it, and that's what I'm going to do is import. And so here is guy. You might get this materials um, using a texture. Just click fix now, and we're good to go. So if you see my guy and I open it up, here's everything, right? and materials and all that. So here's what we got to do. He's not ready to um, work yet. So we need to do a couple things. So I'm going to click on him here in my assets and then I'm going to go to the inspector and I want to go to the, there we go, to the rig. And you're going to change the animation type to humanoid, okay? and just hit apply okay one thing you might know it, notice is that the materials let's just go in is transparent so that means when i bring this guy in on here something's going to happen he's um he's actually going to be see-through i want to make sure it's opaque okay so you're going to change the rendering mode this is something that Mixamo does all the time. Um, I don't know, it's just a, something you've got to fix when we're going in between programs. When we use um, Mixamo for characters and animations in Maya, we got to do the same thing. Um, it just exports it out um, as a transparency. So let's go to character guy and let's just put them out here. Almost the same size as you can see because I did scale one. And whoop, let's find them real quick. F and zoom in and I just want to make sure that everything looks good. Yep. Um, you'll notice the eyelashes are a little um, overdone. This is also something that Mixamo does. I'm not too worried about it right now because in third person I'm not even going to see his eyes um, but there is a way to fix that as well. Okay. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to take 
my guy and I'm going to open them up. Okay. So this is where everything is from Mixamo. Right. So I'm going to close that back up. I just wanted to show you here is the rig here, shoes, tops, all this stuff. Okay. So what I want to do is take guy and move him exactly in the same location. Okay. As Ethan. Okay, so he's literally sitting on Ethan. Looks pretty good. Not going to worry about scale because I can do that later. Um, he's a little bit taller, but pretty close in the shoulders. Um, just look all the way around. Looks like he's overlapping perfectly. Okay, so now I'm ready to use a third person controller for my character. So here's what I need to do. I'm going to look at Ethan and I'm just going to turn him off because I really don't need to see. So you can see I'm cl clicking on all the parts of Ethan um, and just turning off um, the rendering of the, of the skins, etc., the mesh renderer. Okay. So now all I'm left with is this. Once it works, I can actually delete these parts of Ethan because I don't need them at all. Okay. So if I hit third person controller, you can see there's my collider. It actually is working pretty well with the scale, so I'm not even going to mess with it. Okay, here's the important part. I'm going to open up Guy. Here's Guy, right? That's my character's name. I'm not going to drag this parent folder and bring it down in the third person, but I'm going to select the body and then shift select the tops, and I'm going to drag all of these. It'll only work if you do it this way. So you need to click and select and bring it into third person controller. And it takes a second. And it says you want to uh, break the prefab instance. Say yes, just hit continue. So now you'll notice in third person controller, here are all my attributes of that character that I developed, right? Guy, that particular folder isn't really anything anymore. I can right click and I can delete it. Okay. If I click third person controller, it's ready to go. Third person controller, as you can see down here, has my user controller and the character script. Um, it also has my animator script. So we're not even going to make the animator script. It's already made the third person animator controller. There's one little click that we got to do. See where it says this avatar? That's set up for Ethan right now. I need to click on the little circle here and I need to select mine, Guy Avatar. Okay, that's the name of my character. If you open up the guy down here, you can see here's his little avatar. That's what I want to select, okay? So if it is working correctly, all I have to do is hit play, and I should see his arms drop, and he's in idle mode. And already, you can see he's moving around. I can turn him, okay? And now he's working. Okay, it's a little crazy right now because the camera is not set up. So I know he's working and the controllers are working. Okay, if I hit spacebar, he'll jump. If I hit C, he'll crouch, right? And I can even crouch to a side. So pretty cool. I'm gonna pause the play mode. Here's how you get the camera set up for your character, and then we can watch it in um, game mode. So take the camera, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first rotate and find a perspective that I like for my video game, right? So I'm gonna line this up however I want it. Maybe zoom in a little bit more, maybe do this, maybe slide to the right a little bit. That's kind of the viewpoint. I'm looking down here at the camera preview, maybe just a little bit farther in, somewhere like that. So if I go back here to hit camera, and I take game object and align with view, that camera, now you can see my game console lined up perfectly with it. Now I'm just gonna drag this and make it a child of third person. Okay, so now it's down there. So now if I go into game mode and I'm gonna maximize so you can see it and hit play, I should be able to run around my space. And everything seems to be working pretty good. Jump up. Okay. Looks pretty good. So now 
I've just created my character, right, and got the third person controller working. Okay. Um, I do want to talk about one thing in another video in case your textures, um, so you can see Guy here worked pretty well, um, in case your textures did not um, come in accurately, but that's going to be in the next video. All right, good job.